Look at these two. They're like that. Let's have it, Sand Devil. Let's go. She's gone down again. They've all come back again. Uh, let's just see. So he's an HP based champion, is he? Damage. Doesn't actually say. Hold on a sec here. A1 attacks two times. Doesn't say what his damage is multiplied by here. He says he's an HP champion here. I guess. Is that a bug? Should not say damage by uh, HP. I don't know if that's been reported back. Deals double damage to enemies who've got higher or whose attack is equal or higher than this dude. His base attack is super low. This is where he is just any of these conditionals generally are nutty. Generally nutty. And then AoE damage increases by 15% for each buff on allies, then increases the duration of buffs by a turn. That's pretty crazy as well. Heals by 5% for every buff. When attacked, decreases the enemy's attack by 10%, up to 50. Oppur occurs once per skill. Places fear on uh, various factions, cannot be resisted. All incoming damage by steals is just reduced by 50%. Uh, reduced against your whole team. I guess it is. All incoming damage reduced by 50%. Yeah, not bombs or poisons. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, like, he's Harima on something, isn't he? What is this champion? He's so, like, crazy. His kit's so, so crazy. Okay. Let's see what this build look, looks like. 106k health. 100% crit rate. 254 crit damage. It's actually not bad at 165 speed. Not bad. Okay. Let's see then. Seer versus the new fella in buff strippage. Or, or doing damage with buffs anyway. Oh, I don't have climb out the right speeds anyway. Um, more buffs. How many have we got here? Three, six. Six on everyone. Apart from we got seven on Kaima. We've got drop defense and weaken everywhere. Oh, Lugan's faction more only. Okay, doesn't matter. And we're doing. <laughs> Was that a million? Was that a million damage? We've seen. Is that a mil? <laughs> One million damage. Obviously, time I would then reset and we'd go again if I didn't fast enough. How does that compare to the new fella? New boy in town. Is he the new seer? You could build him with way less crit and put him in the lead just as a. A watch out. See what this does. I'm not expecting it to do a million damage, but it might be pretty damn good. Okay, then what's this buff one? Damage increases by 15% for each buff, and he extends buffs. Slow this down. A3. I mean, it's big. And what an animation that is, actually. You see that? But that was actually very cool. The new animations on these Void Legendaries looks like they look awesome. Really cool. But yeah, it's big. Big damage. A3 then. Let's just see that again. I think a hand like slammed down on them, didn't they? You do keep the buff. Yeah, you could run them alongside each other, I guess. See that fist coming down? It's passive is absurd yeah his passive's mental he, he's honestly he might be up there he might be up there as one of the best in the game <laughs> here we go again the power creep is real so a1 then let's have a look at this one attacks one enemy two times can place decrease attack each crit fills ally turn meter as well Nothing crazy damage about that. Nothing crazy there. 
Like that's, if anything, fairly low damage. Okay, let's see what the A2 does. Attacks an enemy, places a stun, deals double damage to enemies whose attack is higher than his, which is pretty much everybody's in the game. Four fifty eight K on the A two is huge. It's a massive hit. It's another massive, massive hit. And then obviously we've seen the A three already, we know that smacks based on number of buffs. So yeah, this guy is definitely in the real deal category. Like he is the new age of void legendaries. Even with like minimal buffs, 230k across the board. Okay, I think he's fine. Let's try out Marika. Marishka. Marishka. Okay. A Marishka. I will forget that. That sounds good for now. So Marishka, I guess she's just going to be like a straight up support. Attacks with someone else, it's going to be Taras. Fully restores any decreased max HP, then heals. Place his shield and strengthen. This passive seems kind of nuts to me. Revives all, all dead allies with loads of health and turn meter whenever she is killed. So if you have one other reviver, it doesn't, there's a three turn cooldown on this. And the act, is there a three turn cooldown on this or this? No, it's this, isn't it? Places block damage on all allies whenever an ally receives a bomb, poison, or HP burn. Okay, let's try this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too sure about this champion. She seems crazy to me. As like a, on the face of it, she seems totally crazy. Feels like she's made for the new boss, doesn't it? She's kind of made for the new boss. I don't feel like he is made for the new boss. Unless his hit does a lot of damage. When there's loads of buffs out maybe. Against the new boss. I don't think it will. Okay. Okay, let's have a look. People are always dying here. So. If she took that spot. Stand will be easier to test this. Uh, I guess so. I just feel like this is a team that I know Duchess just like does the job already for me. So I was just curious to see if she could just step in and do like a Duchess style role, but in, a, in almost like a reverse way. Do you think they might put one of these two as a guaranteed void? I don't know. I don't know. It's possible. Might be maybe around Christmas. Could do, I guess. I think they're likely. I think. Thinking about the last Christmas, didn't they do a two times everything at the same time? Am I thinking right? Yeah, but I'm not sure about guarantee. Who knows? What I need is more EE champs and not to grind another fusion. <laughs> right, let's, let's see what's going on in this, this part. So we've got tons of bombs popping up. Obviously, Geo's doing his Geo thing. Block damage everywhere. Block damage everywhere because of the stuns? Wow. Is that insane? Revive on death. I think that's her revive on death happening right now. So that's on a three turn cooldown, that block damage thing. But everybody got it. Everybody got block damage, including her. Wow. That is nuts. Look at that. She is going to be... So we haven't even tested the revive thing because we don't need it yet. She's an absolute beast.
everyone revives apart from her when they all go down. Holy hell, this champion is crazy, isn't it? And then obviously we get her back. Now, the question is, do they all revive again? Well, she heals them to full anyway before we get a chance to test it. That is pretty nuts. She's gone down again. They've all come back again. Wow. That is some crazy interaction. That is some absolutely crazy interaction we're just witnessing there. She is going to be nuts. How does that work in Plat Arena? How does that work in Arena? Let's find someone who's just going to nuke me. Most people have such defensive teams here. Uh, sender. Sen sender, okay. What shall I do? Should I, should I just put in almost like nothing team first and just see what happens here? That's actually nuts. They're both five out of fives in their own merit. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Orbpec, thank you for the sub. Who do I want to put in here? Should I just throw in some food? Kind of just interested to see how this works. She gets nuked and dies, yeah, but everyone else just springs back to life? Yeah, so everyone else, so, and she brings them back with 75% turn meter. That's kind of nuts, right? Will a block revive champ block the whole team? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Someone like a, a Rotus or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, obviously in Sand Devil. And, and I guess that's what a kit was kind of built for. The Sand Devil, yeah. So when everyone dies, she brings them back up. Now... If she's in the lead, let's just do her and Godseeker together for, to start with. If she's in the lead. She dies. She pops up because of Godseeker's revive. Before... That can happen. So that's the way around that works. If they were reversed, if she's behind the team, this is where like positioning starts to become interesting, I think. Does it interact in the same way? Who pops up first? Godseeker pops up first. It's, there's going to be some interesting stuff going on with this champ. Once people get under the skin of her kits. But that's a pretty crazy passive, honestly. Like, it's, it's got so many use cases, that passive. Godseeker passive didn't work here. No, I know. That's what I'm saying because I, I changed them around. So I made sure her passive hit him first. Look at these two. They're like that. Let's have it. Sand Devil, let's go. Hey, uh, VBEC Gaming, thank you for the sub. How's it going? Christmas shopping done? Yeah, pretty much. In fairness, Lady H does a lot of the Christmas shopping of the household, but I've done some. I've done some. I've been in the mix. Back 
back to sleep, Shagor. Now we've got things moving. Take a nap. Shador missed his sleep. This is why Shador is... That's why people are running two Shadors because he's actually not consistent quite enough. But yeah, she'll definitely be in teams for sure. No ninja in this team. No, we were just trying out if she could deal with the enemy max HP loss that a Geo does, and she can. Which is kind of crazy. Marie, Maricha. Maricha? Marisha. Anyway, Marishka, Marishka, that's it. It's when I say it, like, you know, when it clicks, it's like, I know now. I oh, will forget in about three minutes. 